Hey mod again, this is Newborn GFX, just to show you newbies at GFX how to make a nice small SIG. So you're going to open Photoshop, File, New, Dimensions are 420 by 120, Resolution 72, with the background as transparent. Press OK. You're going to get any render you want. I'm going to use this example Spider-Man. Drag that stuff in there. Uh, put it like this, big enough. Make it, let's say, a bit smaller. Like that. Place. Actually, no, because I don't like that. How his blue leg is sticking in there. Like that. So as soon as you have that, uh, choose the paint bucket tool right here. Make a new layer. Drag it. Make sure it's under Spider-Man. And then pick a color. Click the color wheel. Pick the, a color off of Spider-Man. And drop it. After that, you're going to create a new layer in between Spider-Man and the background. Make sure it's in between. Then you're going to click here, find a deeper color on Spider-Man, so like that. And then what you're going to do is get a brush, and it doesn't show up right now, but I have this one selected. I think it's nice. Oops. So what you're going to do is click anywhere just to put a nice background behind him so what you should do from here is if you have the right brush you may be able to add uh, FX so click on the FX thing and click on bevel and emboss so when you do that you can see it kinda sticks out more I'm gonna click off contour you can see it kinda like sticks out more from the background which makes it look kinda look nicer if you want you can add a stroke to it I don't really recommend it if you do Make sure it's like a one pixel stroke, just so it's kind of not that visible. It'll still live in outline though. You can do anything you want here. Just try not to make it overdo it. Don't like add everything because that'll make it just look bad. I might do an outer glow, I guess. So just make, I don't know, a bright red. No, not a bright red. A, oops, not a purple. I don't want purple. A dark red. I don't know. Make it like black. I don't know. It's up to you. Then you can mess around with the size and the spread of it. Jeez, I'm not really going to mess around with that. But uh, I'm just going to do that. Bevel and emboss it. After you're done that, um, you can click on Spider Man, click on FX, and click on Stroke you can add a nice stroke to him to make him stand out from the background so what I would recommend doing is a stroke get a color similar to this but a bit lighter so you can see it so like that press ok you have a nice stroke around him so you can see him from the background um... this is basically all you're gonna really do to make a nice background now is the most important part of any signature, the text. So what you're going to want is some kind of nice text. What I recommend, I'll put the link in the description to this, go into any internet browser, uh, as soon as mine opens, my computer is running slow right now, uh, when it opens, yeah, I'll let that load up. Uh, before you go into any internet browser, Actually, no. We'll do that last. We'll do that last. So go into any internet browser. Go to a website called dafont.com. I have no clue why I have caps on. dafont.com. This will load up. Search up topics about your render, like spider. Search spider. See if anything comes up. Spider bite. I don't know. Spider Fingers, The Amazing Spider-Man. There you go. There's Spider-Man for you. Before you download it, you should probably click on here to see what it's like. Curious. That's that's fine. So, The Amazing Spider-Man will download. You need WinRAR for these. Um, open it. Double click the TDF file. That, I don't think is it. Is it really outlined like that? Is it?
I don't know. So what you could do is press install. Close all this. Go back into Photoshop. Get your text tool. Remember what it was called. Uh, this was the Amazing Spider-Man, so it would be up here. Or would it be in T? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Photoshop's right. Yeah, right there, the Amazing Spider-Man. Text, right? Spider. Spider-Man, like that. Control T. Make it bigger. Apply. You can probably... If you work with the effects, then it might look nicer. Inner glow, maybe. So size. I'm not sure. This isn't a very good font for it because it's hollowed out. So I'm just gonna choose one of my fonts and do it. Um, uh, speedy twelve, whatever. Spider Man. Drag that right there. Now, with this kind of font where it's not just an outline, you can work with it really nicely. Add a bevel and emboss to it. Make it shine. Contour, of course. Um, you can add a stroke to it, which you don't want to do with this yet. Um, you can add a drop shadow. I wouldn't recommend with this because you have a nice... You don't want to wreck the background at all. That's all I'm going to do for now because I'm going to change the color of the text. Find, once again, find a nice color that kind of goes with your background, like that. Then you need to work with the effects. Get a stroke going there, a black stroke. Something nice though, and not too thick. I'd make it like a one for this. Just so it's seeable. Like that I say and after that after you've done everything make a new layer drag it on top of everything then hit control A and, or command A on Mac go to edit stroke after that I recommend using black and then make it like I'd, I always use 5 pixels 5 pixels press ok control D or command D and then your text oops don't do that Control Z. So on your text that you have, which is right here, move it over. Control. No, it's not what I want. Control T. Control T it so you can make it a bit smaller so it'll fit nicely. There you go. And there you have it. That is your finished signature. I think it's. I think that's a nice signature. I have a few signatures that I made with this kind of technique, and I usually make mine a bit bigger. But this is just for beginners. So if you follow all these steps, you'll end up with a really nice signature you can use for your forums. If this helped at all, please subscribe to me or plus wrap me on modded game if you're on modded game. Um, I'll leave my modded game username in the description and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.